and they're yelling and they're shouting and they're saying, we're winning the war. We're pushing the people back off the coast. And um, everyone in the street would just be like shouting and, you know, just raging and dancing and partying. And that's what this word means, real good news. So Jesus uses this to describe his message. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so like what he's saying is the good news is God's reality is now invading earth. Because of the fall and the, and the separation that I described earlier, now Jesus, the champion of God, is bringing that back and making it available for everyone to re-enter into a relationship with God. That's really good news. I mean, if there is a God, if there's a real living God that made us, right, and we're not connected with him, and then we find a bridge to get back to him, I mean, that would be dancing in the street good news, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, Man. come on. That's what Jesus is trying to communicate. Now, the word evangelism, honestly, doesn't sound like good news. Often, Christian culture with Christians, it doesn't feel good to communicate about Jesus for different reasons. And people on the outside of Christian culture, <clears throat> this doesn't sound like good news either. It sometimes sounds way off from good news. Um, the, there's several reasons why, but I really believe the main reason is this. The message that's often shared is not really the good message that Jesus brought. It's um, it's a twisted message. It's a manipulated message. It's not the clear message of Jesus. When we grow up hearing about the church, hearing about Jesus, hearing about Christianity, but because this isn't really communicated the way Jesus communicated it, what happens is we have a bad taste in our mouth for following the authentic Jesus. But according to Jesus, this message, this message that now you can connect with God because of me, this message is really good. In verse 15, he invites us, not only he shares that this really good message, but he says, repent and believe. Simply put, he invites us to rearrange our lives. He invites us to rearrange the way that we live based on this message. <clears throat> 